uh, the city is making a great effort right now to make sure that the homeless people are being uh, taken care of to the best of their ability. Uh, here we are making sure that everybody that comes in washes their hands first. They have to hit the hand washing station before they come and ask for services. We are doing social distancing with the chairs. They're not allowed to sit within six feet of each other. And we're also making sure that we're giving them hope because the situation feels hopeless and it's taken a while for that hopelessness to filter down to the streets, but now it's filtering down to the streets. And so we are that avenue of hope for them. Streets Alive isn't the only one. We've spoken to the Lethbridge Soup Kitchen on several occasions, and their response is consistent. It's business as usual. We have implemented several measures. Uh, we make sure that our guests, uh, in particular, wash their hands more diligently than ever. Our volunteers are re also asked and required to uh, wash very regularly. Uh, all of our volunteers will wear and staff will wear gloves. Uh, right now we're, we're following what needs to be done, but I want to emphasize that we realize that it could be a major issue, and it probably is, but for us, we, it is business as usual. There's lots of plans um, in Lethbridge in terms of how to support people who are vulnerable um, to protect them around the COVID-19 pandemic. And so at the shelter, um, everyone who comes into the shelter is screened, and, and the screening process that we're using is um, we're taking their temperature, we're disinfecting their hands, and assessing for cough. Um, those are some of the key things that we're looking for. If people are presenting particularly, um, we have um, protective um, gear, so we have, um, you know, if someone has a cough or a fever, we um, can uh, put a mask on them. With churches closing their doors, food donations and volunteers can be tricky. It's a crisis that needs all of our attention and efforts to make sure the vulnerable have a chance at staying COVID-19 free. For Bridge City News, I'm Loris Alexander.